Today's protagonist is Baloo. Pics and videos are brought thanks to Lucky Lou. The Greater Swiss Mountain Dog is considered not only one of Switzerland's oldest dog breeds but also the largest and oldest of the four Senenhun breeds. These include the Bernese Mountain Dog, Appenzell Cattle Dog, and the Entelbuch Cattle Dog. Their ancestors played a key role in the development of the Rottweiler and the St. Bernard. While there are several theories as to the Swissies origins, the most popular is that the Greater Swiss Mountain Dog was developed in the Alps of Switzerland, descending from the Roman Mastiffs, brought to the area more than 2,000 years ago. The Swissies' ancestors were all-purpose farm dogs since they assumed roles like herding dogs to move dairy cattle, cart dogs, and also watchdogs and family companions. They were known as Metzgerhund. At one time, the breed was believed to have been among the most popular dogs in Switzerland. However, the greater Swiss mountain dog had almost died out by the late 19th century. With the advent of industrialization, farmers and shopkeepers began using motorized vehicles and other labor-saving devices. Dr. Albert Heim, who was a canine researcher and an expert on the Senenhund breeds, rediscovered the greater Swiss mountain dog in 1908, while he was judging a dog show. He began to encourage breeders to take interest in them, and he successfully worked to get them recognized as their own breed. In 1990, the breed got listed in the Swiss stud book of the Swiss Kennel Club as Grosser Schweitzer Senenhund. His efforts resulted in the re-establishment of the breed. In 1968, J. F. Frederick and Patricia Hoffman imported the first Swissies to the U.S. It soon led to the foundation of the Greater Swiss Mountain Dog Club of America. And Swissies were first recognized by the AKC in 1995. Swissies are large, muscular, and heavy-boned dogs with incredible physical strength. Their eyes are medium-sized, almond-shaped, neither deep-set nor protruding. These may vary in color from hazel to chestnut and have an animated and gentle expression. Eyelids are close-fitting, and eye rims are black. The nose and lips are also black. Their medium-sized ears are set high, triangular in shape, gently rounded at the tip, and hang close to the head when relaxed. Greater Swiss Mountain Dogs have strong and well-muscled shoulders, straight forelegs, slightly sloping pasterns, and well-rounded feet. The chest is deep and broad, with a slightly protruding breastbone and well-sprung ribs. The tail is thicker at the base, tapering to a point as it reaches the hocks. It is carried down in repose. When alert and in movement, the tail may be carried higher and curved slightly upward, but it should not curl over the back. Swissies breeders' standards call for a short black coat with white and red markings, but they may also come in blue, white, and tan tricolor, according to the Greater Swiss Mountain Dog Club of America. Swissies can also have a two-toned, or bicolor coat in red and white. There is black on top of the dog's back, ears, tail, and the majority of the legs. There should be white on the muzzle, the feet, the tip of the tail, on the chest, and up from the muzzle to pass between the eyes. There should be rust on the cheeks, a thumbprint above the eyes, and rust should also appear on the legs between the white and black. Their double coat has a dense outer coat and a thick undercoat. Textures of the top coat can range from short, straight, and fine to longer, wavier, and coarser. While males range between 25.5 to 28.5 inches, 65 to 72 centimeters, at the shoulder, females range between 23.5 to 27 inches, 60 to 69 centimeters. Although there is no standard for weight, males tend to range between 90 to 140 pounds, 41 to 64 kilograms, and females between 80 to 110 pounds, 36 to 50 kilograms. Longevity is inversely related to the breed size. Heavier dogs such as the greater Swiss Mountain Dogs tend to have shorter lifespans than medium and small-sized dogs. Swissies have a life expectancy of 8 to 11 years. The required level of physical activity is medium. Swissy's short, thick double coat is easy to groom. The breed sheds minimally most of the time, except for twice yearly blowouts when the undercoat comes out. Brush them once or twice a week, 
with a rubber curry brush or hound glove to remove dead hair and distribute skin oils to keep the coat gleaming and healthy. Check to see whether your dog needs a nail trim on a monthly basis as well. Also, look in your dog's ears at least weekly for wax buildup, dirt, and irritation. Begin accustoming your Swissy to being brushed and examined when they are puppies. Make grooming a positive experience filled with praise and rewards. As you groom, check for sores, rashes, or signs of infection. Large breed puppies such as the Swissy need slow sustained growth to help prevent orthopedic problems. Whatever diet you choose should not overemphasize protein, fat, and calorie levels. 22 to 24% protein and 12 to 15% fat is recommended. Although they are athletic dogs, great Swiss mountain dogs only need a moderate amount of activity to exercise their big bodies. Plan about an hour per day of physical activity including walks, hikes, and games of fetch. Like many large dog breeds, greater Swiss mountain puppies should avoid frequent high-impact exercise because it can interfere with bone and joint growth. Note that the breed has good resistance to the cold but can be sensitive to hot weather, so keep outdoor sessions in the heat brief and make sure they always have access to water and shade. Since they are big dogs, greater Swiss mountain dogs are best suited in homes with large, fenced-in yards that allow them to roam freely as opposed to small apartments or condos. Keeping them within a fenced space is important because of their high prey drive from their history on Swiss farms. Do not let their size intimidate you, greater Swiss mountain dogs are alert, but gentle, friendly, and loving. Because of their working breed background, they love having a job or purpose and are most content and confident when they are in the company of their family. They crave attention and physical contact. They should not be shy or aggressive towards strangers or other dogs. They may however, chase cats or other animals, and their herding instinct can kick in around children as well. Teach them that bumping, chasing, and tackling children is not okay. This giant breed matures slowly in both mind and body, taking anywhere from two to three years to do so. Like every dog, the Swissy needs early socialization, exposure to many different people, sights, sounds, and experiences. Begin training and socializing your greater Swiss mountain dog from the moment you get them. These dogs can be difficult to manage as fully grown adults if they are poorly socialized. While these dogs are typically very in tune with their humans and eager to please, they have bold, confident personalities and can be stubborn, making their own decisions instead of following yours. The reason why they need kind owners who can confidently show leadership and can become the leader of the pack. They respond well to positive training methods such as praise and play and are especially food motivated. When they have been appropriately socialized and trained, adult greater Swiss mountain dogs are calm and devoted to their family. These dogs are not aggressive but make great watchdogs, as they are alert, protective of their home, and will use their powerful and loud bark to let you know when something's not right. However, they will be friendly to any strangers that are welcomed into the home. The Swiss talents are tracking, guarding, carting, and competitive obedience. For the most part, this breed is relatively healthy for their size. Greater Swiss Mountain Dogs have far fewer problems than more populous breeds in a similar size range, such as Urinary incontinence, eyelash issues, being the two most common, dystochiasis and entropion Idiopathic epilepsy, Swissy lick, gastric dilatation volvulus, also known as bloat Hip and elbow dysplasias, as well as other orthopedic problems such as osteochondrosis and panosteitis We hope you enjoyed the video don't forget that, each new subscriber and positive comment, motivates us to create more and better content. Thanks for watching.